All right, y'all, today we got my man C. Scholar calling in to hit Brick Radio. C. Scholar was good, man. Ain't nothing much, man. What's been good with you? I'm out here chilling. And what's man, grinding hard. I see you got the new single, Twatching. Oh, let's talk. Talk, talk. talk to me about that single, man. Okay, man. Twatching right now is doing real good, man. I've been having a lot of support from everybody. You know, um, it's getting out there. But basically, the song, for some some people don't know what the song is about. So I got I got to clue them in. Because, you know, uh, Twitter is a brand new craze. You know, a lot of people are on Twitter, but a lot of people aren't. So the song, the basic message behind the song is talking about somebody who follows you on Twitter constantly and clocks everything you do. So it's saying stop twatching. So that's where we got the whole theme from. And I know this I know the um the word has been said before, used before, but you know, we decided to take it and put it into a song, so we came out with twatching. Okay, okay. Um who did the production on your thing? Uh Black Elvis. Uh, Black Elvis is a super producer man out in Atlanta. I'm actually signed to a production deal under him and Harold Lilly. Together, we, they got a uh, production house called Mars on Sunday. So, Black Elvis, man, big big ups to him. He's done uh, major works, like he produced Ego for Beyonce. So, uh, I'm in a pretty good situation. Definitely, you sound like you're in a pretty good situation. Um, tell the people, like, um, who's been some of your biz- biggest musical influences? Well, I got, I got a ton, man, because a lot of people who, you know, really pay attention to my music and go back to my first mixtape, they see that I've always rapped and sing. So when it comes to hip-hop, that's where I get a lot of my um, lyrical influence and a lot of the stuff I talk about in music, you know, I like to touch on subjects that even rappers would, would talk about, but I sing. Um, so I got influences from uh, Tupac, you know, one of the greats, uh, Outkast, definitely. And when I look at singers, you know, I got to give props to Michael Jackson first and foremost. But then um, I also am a real, real heavy influence by the R&B from the 90s, man, like the Drew Hill, Joe DeCees. And, um, and for female, I like Erica Badu, man. I really like what she does vocally and stuff. So it goes a long way. I, I even take it back, man. Definitely. Um, what made you decide to be a, a singer that rapped? Or a rapper that sings since you equally talented in both areas? Well, I actually started singing first when I was eight. I started singing in the church. And, uh, you know, rhyming, I, I picked up rhyming like not, not too far after, but I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like, uh, you know, rapping comes comes a little bit easier for me. So um, singing, you know, it's, it's a lot more you can do with singing as far as, you know, with your voice and you know, melodies and the, and the way you sing stuff, so, and, and plus, you know, I think the females like to sing a little bit more, more than the rapping, so, I decided to go to the <laughs> Definitely, all right. Um, can you tell us what you think is, in your opinion, what's missing in R&B today? Um, like, like I said, man, that 90s, that 90s feel of the music is, is crazy, like, a lot, a lot of times R&B artists nowadays, they, they, venture into pop, and I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that, because eventually I probably will do some pop records, but I think it's missing soul, man, uh, uh, soul and the messages that are in songs right now. I think we need we need some more music that, that touches on, you know, love, love for real, and, um, right. you know, like 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 in the 90s, man, it, it was crazy. Definitely. It's so, 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 so cool. Yeah, it seems like um, R&B today is more focused around sex and Things that hip hop topics will be about, that's less about love. So, yeah, right. See you on that. Um, um, are you working with any um, major artists currently? Uh, currently, no, I haven't. I haven't had any um, major artists on the project, but um, hopefully that's that's coming in the near future. Okay, okay. Well, um, tell us where we can find you know where they can reach Chris Carla on the social media outlet, All right. the Twitter, um, and Facebook. That. Um, and make sure y'all follow me on Twitter, man, first and foremost, because, you know, I do got a song out about Twitter, so I'm going to need y'all to hit me up at Chris underscore Scholar, and then um, you can go to my Facebook, it's facebook.com slash Chris Scholar, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Chris Scholar. And, and oh, you do, I, I do got a brand new website out, man, it's, it's called ChrisScholarOnline.com, so make sure y'all go check that out as well. Okay, and also you equally as um, talented in, in videography. Um, oh, yeah. 
Yeah, actually, um, produced watching myself, like me and my brother, uh, produced the, the video and I edited the whole thing. So I kind of, I've been doing videos as long as I've been doing music almost. Like I, it goes hand in hand because whenever I write a song, I picture it visually. So I always like to, you know, take my music and then put it into a, a video format because a lot of people like to see things. And when you, when you tell stories in music, you know, you can also tell, tell a story better, you know, in a video so people can see it. Definitely, definitely. So where are you located now? Um, are you have you relocated out of Virginia? Are you still in Virginia? No, I'm still in Virginia, man. Still, still in Richmond, holding strong, man. Okay, okay. Are you having upcoming shows people can look forward to catching you in the area or outside the area? Well, I actually got a show this Saturday at George Mason, so I need everybody. I'm gonna be putting it up on my online um, on my website and letting everybody know what time and. And everything, but definitely, man. George Mason is the next show this Saturday. Okay, cool, cool. All right, Chris, man, I appreciate you calling in and Hit Breaker Radio, keeping us informed on what you got going on, and you know what I'm saying? Make sure you hit us back and stay in tune. Nope. Let us know what you got going on in the future, man. We you down no doubt, here. man. Shout out to um, Hit Breaker. Appreciate y'all having me. No doubt, man. appreciate you calling, Chris. All right, bro. Yo, what up? It's your boy C. Skyler. I'm in here with DJ Var, Hit Breaker Radio. That's what it is. Stop watching, baby, stop watching. Trap star DJs in the building. Watch your mouth. 